The investigation into the death of actress Misty Upham has revealed that she passed away from blunt force injuries. The manner of death has not yet been determined. Upham went missing in a Seattle suburb in early October of this year. The last time she was seen, the 32-year-old actress was walking out of her sister's home. A relative, who was part of a search team, found her purse and body in a ravine less than two weeks later. Her family later claimed she fled into the woods to get away from cops. They also alleged previous mistreatment from officers towards Upham. Police have denied those accusations. But, you know, that wasn't uncommon for us to not hear from Misty for a few days because she was either busy and she was always, always doing something. I'm about to go and try on a bunch of fabulous clothes to hopefully get some options to wear for the AFI event that I have on next Friday, on this coming Friday. So it's Monday right now. So when I heard about, you know, obviously your family was looking for her, then I kind of got a little worried um, because, well, I know she was very close with her family and she wouldn't just not speak with her family. I'm not one of those Indians that will call them for help because things get worse. Indians get shot. They either act too heavy handed or they don't act at all. In Misty's case, they didn't act at all. The Auburn PD, they had over 300 years of collective experience working for them, but they got it wrong, dead wrong. Unfortunately, it was my daughter's life that hung in the balance. Missy suffered physical abuse while in police custody. She took pictures of her injuries and posted them on her Twitter page. The issue was not that the system had failed us. The reality was that we were up against the system. And we quickly found out that we were on our own. Crisis, Native American women murdered or missing with few answers and little attention. Racism is comfortable for me as a white person, white fragility, born of superiority. And it's a cancer in the fabric of this country. I know it's stupid and racist and everything else, but then they won't forget us, ever.